Hello, you may not know me, but I'm kind of a famous prophet. I wrote a few books of the Bible, inspired by God, of course, and I anointed the first and second kings of Israel. I'm Samuel. But really, it's me. Yui, 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 ballyhoo. I'm just pretending to be Samuel because pretending can be so much fun. I'm pretending to fly. I'm pretending to swim. I'm pretending to be a rabbit. This is a totally true story from the Bible. And even though it isn't really about Samuel, I'm going to pretend that Samuel is telling it. You'll see why. I, Samuel, am an Israelite. Most nations around us were led by kings, but the Israelites had judges to lead them and priests to teach them about God. Two of the Israelites were Elkanah and Hannah, my dad and mom. What a twist! That's why I chose to pretend to be Samuel. It's a story about his parents. My mom hadn't been able to have any kids, and this made mom and dad sad. Whenever they went to the tabernacle, dad would bring a double sacrifice for mom as a way to ask God to let her have a baby. Bible times, they were always bringing God sacrifices. They were kind of like how people nowadays bring their offerings to church. Okay, back to pretending. One day at the tabernacle, my mom went back by herself. She was so sad, she started crying. As she prayed, she told God that if he gave her a son, she'd give him back to God. And he would serve God all the days of his life. As she was praying, a priest named Eli saw her and came over. She was like, and he was like, excuse me, ma'am, what's going on here? I'm very sad, and I'm praying that God will give me a son. Oh, I see. Then my mom told Eli the priest the whole story, and when she was done, Eli listened to God. Uh-huh. Okay, God, I hear you. Then Eli told my mom, go in peace. May the God of Israel give you what you have asked for. May you be pleased with me. Hmm. When my mom left, she didn't feel sad anymore. The next morning, mom and dad woke up early and worshiped God before they went home. And sure enough, a few months later, Guess who was born? That's right, me, Samuel! And mom didn't forget her promise to God. As soon as I was old enough, I went to the tabernacle to work with Eli. Pause. The very same priest who talked to Hannah is the same priest that Samuel came to work with? Amazing! Unpause. Eventually, I, Samuel, became a prophet for the Lord. A prophet is God's special messenger. Soon, Israel had kings to rule them instead of judges. And like I told you before, I was the one who anointed the first and second kings. I'm very thankful for my mom and dad who sacrificed and prayed for me. Thank you. God heard Samuel's mom, Hannah, and guess what? God hears you too. He promised to always be with us and we can trust that promise. When we pray, the answers to our prayers might not be as fast as we want and God might not even answer them the way we want, but God always hears them and answers them in the best possible way. God answers prayers. I just love that about him. All right, I gotta go. Time to pretend to be someone else. Maybe a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs>